Hi, my name is Norman Meir, and I work for Best Incorporated, located in Rolling Meadows, Illinois. I'm an IPC Master Instructor, which is industry standards for uh, rework and repair, how to put parts on, how to take them off, 610, which is a spec out on how the parts should be placed on your circuit board, J standard, which deals with process control and wires, cables, and harnesses. Here today, what I want to show you how to do is to how to remove a charging port on a, this is an S3 Samsung cell phone without causing any lifting of the pads or anything like that. What we'll be using is a hot air pencil running at about 300 degrees Celsius. I'm going to be using a pair of tweezers and I'm going to install a heat shield around it so I don't reflow anything in the local area because over here back behind it is a BGA and we don't want to reflow that or any other parts that might be in the area like over here so I'm going to show you how that is all done making it very simple and you're isolating the sheet heat shield is great because on one side it's going to full of, feel the full force of about 300 degrees Celsius and on the other side when we tested it it was about 90 degrees and solder reflows especially at lead free around 225 degrees C so we are going to have to get it very warm but again we don't want to reflow anything else so without further ado let's get this started first thing I want to do is I'm going to grab my heat shield and what I've done was I've already kept on taped around it and everything and that is to keep it from falling apart because it's made out of a fiber type material so I need to install it into my circuit board or around the area and isolate better and I put kept on tape around so I can hold it so I'm going to take it out of view for a few minutes here so I can install this all I do is, like I said, I push it down, wrap it around, put my tape in, and it's done, just like that. So now I've isolated my area. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a pair of bent tweezers just like this. I'm going to stick into the charging port. And what it does now is it leans back. I don't have my hands on it or anything like that. And what I'm doing is using the force uh, of that tweezer leaning back and the weight of it so when it goes into reflow it comes out pretty easily so now we're ready to start reflowing this thing I gotta let the hot air gun start getting hot I got a low air flow so because I don't want to um, blow my part all over the place and I'm trying to prevent this so I'm gonna start out high and I'm gonna slowly work my way in so I can see it going into reflow. Now just watch the screen here, you will see it happening. Okay, starting out, I'm going in a circular motion, trying to get it nice and warm, work my way in a little bit. And this might take from, it depends on your airflow and your temperature you're running, it could vary from a couple of minutes, from one minute or so to uh, when I do this it's about two and a half minutes but it all could change it depends on how much lead free solders there uh, thickness of the boards because everything is different so all I'm doing is just going back and forth around in a circle not trying to rush the process because I don't want to burn my board and get it into a nice reflow you've got to get the board hot you've got to get the area where you're soldering all nice and warm so you got to get the part the board the solder all above reflow temperature and you don't want to do this too fast because you thermally shock your board and you could actually cause other damage and remember we want to make sure this is nice and clean when we're doing all this when we're done too so let's just sit here and have fun with this I'm going back and forth getting it nice and warm you don't want to burn or uh, tarnish. You're overheating it. Remember, there's plastic inside of this, so you got to be very careful when you're doing all this. What happens a lot of times, the charge ports go bad, or that's what a lot of people think, but sometimes it just needs to be cleaned out. 
I was working on one the other day, and uh, I was very impressed that uh, somebody hadn't cleaned it out because that thing was full of lint and everything from your pocket. And all this, a lot of times, all you had to do is use alcohol and a little hot air, or not hot air, I'm sorry, but a little bit of air to blow it out. These are ground planes on here, so it does take a little bit longer. And again, it's just the weight of the tweezers is going to pop this off. I do not have my other hand on it whatsoever. Just being patient. Not trying to get anything else into reflow, just this part itself. And you got, like I said, it's a big ground plane, so it does take a little bit longer. Again, you got to get everything above solder melt temperature, and you don't want to go too fast with this. Just be patient. Sit here and let it happen. There you go. Now see, it's all into reflow, isn't it? Very easy to do. Next thing you want to do is you want to clean the pad sites up. Okay? And what I do is I use a solder wick and a blade tip that looks something like this to clean it out with. And I use a thin solder wick that way I don't use a lot of heat to get it out of there okay so that's how easy it is to get the charging port off I hope you enjoyed this video showing you how easy and again like I said I use a pair of tweezers and I don't use any pressure and if you notice none of the pads are lifted down here whatsoever none didn't lift any of the plating that's on the board so it looks out very, very nice. I hope you enjoyed this video. My name is Norman Mir, and thank you, and have a nice day. Intergalactic, planetary, planetary, intergalactic.